You know, we always talk about bridal lists, you know, spring bride, fall bride. However, okay, once the big day passed, the wedding happens, all the guests go back home. Okay, now you're a newlywed. We need to talk about what does the newlywed bride smell like? Let's talk about it. And I have about eight fragrances that smell like a newlywed to me. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The San Maria here. Yes, we're doing newlywed fragrances and I've curated this list, you all. It was hard, but to me, these are the fragrances that just come top of mind when I think about newlywed. These smell like a newlywed, a newlywed bride to be exact because that's what we're focused on here and I'm excited because some of these fragrances are newer some of these a lot of these are actually older scents so nothing on here is like a new release or anything these just smell timeless and classic and it just smell like a newlywed bride to me but as always lipstick of the day today everyone I went with the OG this is from MAC and this is Velvet Teddy. Yes, Velvet Teddy. This is one of those colors if they ever try to get rid of, it's gonna be a riot for sure. As always, the details on the whole look will be in the description box below so you don't have to ask questions about it. <laughs> Next up we have Fragrance of the Day and this has been my go-to for clean and fresh as of late. It works and the name makes sense. It's called Spring Breeze, you all. This is from Clean Classic. I've talked about this fragrance before. I know for sure in the haul I did for the previous month, but I have been wearing this one and it's been a staple. I'll be talking more about it in a later video for sure, but yeah, clean classic spring breeze. Now this was a new release for this year. So this is like the only new fragrance that I'm gonna talk about in here, but this is what I'm rocking and it feels good and smells good. So that again is clean classic spring breeze. And now let's get into these eight fragrances that smell like a newlywed bride to me. <laughs> so first and foremost, okay, yes, we are married now. Let's get on into it. But this one is a tried and true in my opinion, and it had to make the list top of mind. This is from Guerlain and this is Mon Guerlain, the EDP. I've talked about this fragrance a million times on the channel. And that is for good reason. It also already has a dedicated review up on the channel too. So definitely check that out for more information. Manga line is something about it. There's a class and an elegance to this scent. It just gives new wife. <laughs> so just, some, just a reminder on the notes you all. Main thing in here is that this is a lavender and this is a vanilla in here. There's also some licorice, some sandalwood in here too y'all. There's some iris. But oh, it just works. And also the longevity, the longevity is very consistent in this fragrance. It's a little above average in my opinion, but most importantly, it's that lavender here that's common. And it mixes it with the iris that gives a little bit of powderiness to it. Then that sandalwood is kind of creamy. This is just, this scent just smells like I am secure in my position. I'm good. That's what it smells like. So I had to put it on the list. And that again is Guerlain's Mon Guerlain, the EDP version. Now this next fragrance is definitely giving I am the spring bright eyed bushy tail. I just got married bride to me. That's what this smells like. So this is that newly wet girl and it had to be Bond number no. nine's Madison Avenue because it's in a pretty baby pink bottle with the black ribbons. <laughs> I do have a dedicated review on the channel already to this fragrance, so definitely check that out too. This one, the main note that sticks out is the apple note in the top. There's also a praline note in here. There's some patchouli and there's some ambroxan in here. And the longevity is yes, it lasts all day. And to look at the bottle, you would think it's gonna be dainty and not last all day. But to me, it goes the distance. And most importantly, that's what you're trying to do. I mean, hello, you just got married. We're like, we're gonna make this thing last, y'all. So to me, that is Madison Avenue from Bond number nine. She had to be on the list. She's so pretty. Now this next fragrance, this is one of the most slept on fragrances from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John or MFK to be short. This one is so slept on, but to me, this is peak femininity, peak newlywed bride to me. That is what this is. And this is Feminine Pluriel, you all. This is the one that comes in the rose gold, rose pink bottle. This one is not talked about enough. And it's also very powerful and potent too. At least on my skin, that's it. That's what it is. So it has some main notes in here, y'all, of iris, there's rose, there's violet, lily of the valley, there's patchouli in here too. And there's some vetiver in here too, but this one is another one that, this one can really be heavy. You have to really be careful with overspraying this one, but it just smells very much. Yes, I'm Mrs. So-and-so now. It smells like that to me. And, but most importantly, the longevity in this fragrance is like, wow. And that's why I'm still trying to figure out why is it this talking about? Because this one smells like classically feminine, then classic aldehydes, powderiness. That is what this smells like to me. Some people might call it dated. I call it classic and just timeless in my opinion. So to me, that will never go out of style. So therefore I had to put Mason Francis Kirk John's Feminine Pluriel on this list, y'all. <laughs> now this next fragrance, this is actually a lot of summer brides, actual wedding day fragrance I have seen because I remember when I did my own research for my scent, this came up, but alas, I was not a summer bride. I was a fall bride. So I said, I knew this wouldn't make the cut, but 
this does smell like a newlywed bride to me. That's what this smells like. So y'all, this is from Chanel and this is Chanel Beige. This is from the Les Exclusive line, which I saw that they did a price increase not too long ago. Chanel, girl, get it together. But anywho, but this fragrance, Beige, she was worth the hype. She was worth the hype. So main notes in here, frangipani honey there's freesia and hawthorne very simple notes but it smells like a high quality luxury body cream that's what this is and i gotta admit this does shine better in the warmer weather so if you were bride that gets married in the summer you need you a newlywed scent that smells like okay after the fact this is the one to me in my opinion this smells like newlywed bride when it's hot and i'm so here for this so y'all Chanel Beige, I see why she makes a lot of lists, particularly the girls that do the whole beach bride thing. I understand, I get that. But if you just wanna keep the vibes going in the summertime or feeling like a newlywed and whatnot, this is the one to me. Chanel Beige, y'all from the Les Exclusive line. Now you all know, I had to put my actual wedding day fragrance on the newlywed list. I know because I mean, hey, it's a whole bottle of perfume. You're not just gonna wear it there one day. At least I'm not, I'm gonna keep wearing my fragrance. So of course, for those that have been following me, you know the answer to what this one is. This is from Parfums de Mala and this is Valaya. Yes, Valaya was the wedding day scent. And this is one that I like to wear, particularly on our, what's this, every every monthly anniversary, because yes, we celebrate each month right now because we're counting up to the big, you know, one year anniversary thing. So I like to wear it on the 23rd for this, because I got married on September 23rd, 2023. Valaya was a 2023 fragrance. So this is one that whenever I wear this one, whenever I spray it, I'm taken back to that big day. It was fun. A little bit of stress, a little bit of lack of sleep, but I'm reminded of that day, the love, the joy, the fun, it just puts all all of those memories back. That's what we call scent memories. So that's why for me to keep that feeling going, I'm gonna keep rocking Valaya. And that's why Valaya has to be on this list. Oh yeah, full dedicated review to Valaya is already on the channel too. So definitely check that out. And let me get into some of the notes as a refresher. So this one y'all has aldehydes, there's bergamot, there's white peach in here. There's orange blossom, there's lily of the valley, there's nymphreol. We have some musk and broxan. Oh, but the main note I wanna talk about is that akagaya wood, cause that is the note that makes this scent last all freaking day. <laughs> Heavy on the above average longevity. Super impressed with this one and I can verify this lasts all day. You don't have to touch it up unless you just want to, but it doesn't need it. The last, don't let the bottle fool you. Valaya goes the distance and to me, she gives me all the memories. So she had to be on this list. And that again is Parfums de Marley, Valaya. Next fragrance, y'all, this fragrance was this close to actually being the wedding day scent, but I didn't do that. It was my bridal shower scent, but alas, it still puts me in the mood of being a newlywed. It makes me get all the feels. So that's why it makes this list. And it's not new. This is from the house of Amouage, y'all. And this is Amouage's Honor Woman. And this scent is so beautiful. I'm glad to see that more people are talking about it and people are also talking about the extra version, which is Honor 43, which I need a bottle of Honor 43 at some point because I did smell it when I went to a wash counter not too long ago and it was like, wow, it is amped up. It is a true extra. I was impressed. But let's talk about the OG, the original one. I'm a wash Honor Woman. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Mm. This just smells like a spring garden to me. That's what this smells like. It's giving garden romance and I'm so here for that. So it has main notes, y'all. There's rhubarb, there's pepper, coriander, there's gardenia, tuberose, jasmine, lily of the valley, carnation, there's incense, there's amber. Oh, there's a lot going on. If you know anything about Amouage, even though something might be a classically feminine scent, it's still gonna pack a punch and there's gonna be a lot of notes in here. And Honor Woman is no exception to that rule. This is beautiful. If you want a traditionally feminine fragrance, you know, your gardenias, your lily of the valleys, those type of notes, but you want it done in a very niche way that you're not gonna smell everywhere, this is the one. So it makes it special to me, particularly for my spring, summer people if you got married around that time but you still want to keep the feeling going i think honor woman would be wonderful for you because it definitely reminds me of the summertime for me because that's when my shower was so it still gives me those feels in the warmer weather so this is one i'm excited to pull back out once the weather gets consistently above 75 degrees to keep the newlywed vibes going but i love this scent so it had to make the list y'all <laughs> And this again is Amouage's Honor Woman. Now this next fragrance is from Parfums de Marley. And to me, she's the grand dame. <laughs> she's giving, we've been here, we doing this, and this is what we're gonna keep doing. I love this scent. I told you all in a previous video, it gives pamper pooch. So if you know, then you know. It's from Parfums de Marley and this is Athalia. Particularly for my fall and winter girlies, if you got married around that time and you still wanna keep the feelings going, but you still wanna keep the newlywed feelings going, y'all. 
a thallium. So she has main notes in here. I know there's iris, there's orange blossom in here, and there's also some musk and some amber. It's just something that just smells like class in here. That's just what I love about this scent. And I mean, the bottle, yes, the bottle is dark. Yes, the, the bottle is black, but don't let that fool you. She's not scary, y'all. She is not scary. She's pampered, that's what she is. And to me, it's just, it's giving soft life. It's just giving soft life newlywed. That's what this smells like to me. So that's why Athalia had to make the list. I can't believe I waited so long to pick her up. I picked her up, in fact, after the wedding. So this is a true newlywed scent for me. And it does embody the vibes because at that point it was cold. But yes, it had to make the list, particularly for my fall and winter girlies that want to keep the feelings going after the big day. Check out Athalia, y'all. She's she's good <laughs> and last up we had to round the video out with some love and this is from amawajwa and this is love tuberose love tuberose found me i had heard such amazing things about it it's a creamy tuberose scent is what it is it's tuberose for people that don't like tuberose and i have to agree with that assessment even though i like tuberose so it has tuberose in here y'all gardenia there's jasmine there is whipped cream yes the whipped cream is what sets this fragrance apart from others there's vanilla in here there's sandalwood and cedar y'all it is a sweet cream tuberose scent is what this is. This just smells, it's happy, it's effortless. It just feels like all of the wedding planning is behind you. All of the table arrangements, which auntie don't like the other auntie, you can't sit them at the table, who used to date who, all that is behind you. This, felt, this smells like we can finally breathe. We can go live our lives. That is what Love Tuberose feels like. And that's why it had to round out this list. And most importantly, there's love in here because yes, the love is still flowing as a newlywed for sure. <laughs> So I'm a wash, love tuberose. I really enjoyed this one, particularly in the winter time. Even though you can get away with wearing it in warmer weather because it's not too thick. That's been my experience. But for some reason, it was really special to me in like January. January, February is around that time. Yes. So if you want to keep the feelings going in the cold weather, I highly recommend. I'm a wash, just love tuberose. And I think I'm gonna keep wearing this. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm not ready to put her up yet. So, all right, everyone, that wraps up this list of newlywed fragrances. I had fun with this one, a little bit more candid, not as structured per se as my normal style of video. But alas, all these fragrances just give me the feels of being a newlywed. So I just wanted to do this video and share my thoughts on it just in case somebody else might also be a newlywed and want to keep the feelings going too. I totally understand. So let me know what you think about this list. Do you agree with it? Also, what would you add to be wonderful newlywed since too? And I will catch y'all in the next video.